Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to grow reishi mushroom. Reishi mushroom contains polysaccharides and beta-glucans, which makes it a prized medicinal mushroom. The first thing you will need is sterilized grain spawn. In this video, I'm using rye berries. You can find it at your local feed store or grain elevator. I think I got a 50 pound bag for about $40. The grain will be very dusty, so just rinse the amount you're gonna use and then let it soak overnight. After your grain is done soaking, you're going to bring a big pot of water to a boil and then add your grains to the boiling water, let it sit for around 10 minutes, and then drain and lay out on a flat surface so they can dry. After about 30 minutes, your rye grain should be dry enough to load into your self-healing injection port jars and pressure cooked at 15 PSI for two and a half hours. Once your grain has been sterilized, it is ready to be inoculated with a Rishi liquid culture syringe. I will leave a link in the description below where you can find your own liquid culture. This part should be done as sterile as possible, either in front of a laminar flow hood or inside of a still air box. Attach your sterile needle to your syringe and inject 2 milliliters per jar of grain spawn. Place your jars of grain spawn in a warm area and allow them one to two weeks to fully colonize. Check for any discoloration. It should be fully white. And if so, we are ready for the next step, which is to create substrate. Rishi is a hardwood loving species, so we are going to use hardwood fuel pellets, and for supplementation, we're going to use wheat bran. Measure and add five cups of hardwood fuel pellets to a five gallon bucket, and then pour in six cups of warm water. Once you see the pellets have expanded, stir in one and a quarter cups of wheat bran. The next step is to add your substrate to a filter patch bag made for growing mushrooms.
Once you're done filling your substrate bags, you can fold them up and then pressure cook at 15 PSI for two and a half hours. Once your substrate has cooled down, it is now time to add your Rishi spawn. This part should be done in front of a laminar flow hood or inside of a still air box. Once your spawn has been mixed in with the substrate, you will have to seal the bag. You can use a heat sealer, bag clamps, or zip ties. Rishi mycelium is very fast and aggressive, so it should only take about two weeks for this block to be fully colonized. As your fruiting block matures, you will notice discoloration, which is totally normal for Rishi mushroom. Your Rishi fruiting block will automatically start forming pins on the surface. If the pins are kept in a high CO2 environment, they will form antlers that grow upwards in search of oxygen. If there was no air left inside of your fruiting bag after spawning, the mycelium will grow up the walls and form a bracket outside of the filter patch every time. And that's how you grow reishi mushroom. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.